What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a CV in order to apply for a data scientist position. So we're going to start by taking an empty Word document and slowly filling it in section by section in order to create this data scientist to be CV. Right, the first thing you want to do is open a Microsoft Word document and then go to layout and change the margins. The reason I want to change the margins is because I want to use all the space like we do over here when we export the file in a PDF file. So I go back to the empty Word document, I go to margins and then I go to custom margins. And here is where I want my top to be 1.6. You can change these ones as you want, but I'm going to show you the mask I use. So I use 1.6 and everything else should be 0 0.6. So 0 0.6. 0.6 and then the right 0.6 if i click enter now you can see i have more space to use for my uh, cv the next thing you want to do is to type in your name at the top and i also like to use bold and italic for the name then i like to align the name in the center as you can see over here i also like to increase the size on the name into 16 versus everything else that is going to be 14 and 12 and additionally, I like to color the name into dark blue just to distinguish it from everything else. Then we're going to start with the personal details. So these are the details that the company is going to use to contact you, which is going to be your email. So I have a random email down here. Then I use a few spaces, as you can see, and I have my telephone number again, a random telephone number, and then a few spaces again. And then you're going to have the location where you live. The next thing we're going to do is that before we move into section two, which is a professional overview, is that we want to add a line to distinguish section one from section two. So please note that the sections are on size 14, by the way, size 14, and then everything else is on size 12. Actually, why is it not size 12? And this is on size 12. This is size 12. Um, let me see, size 12. Okay. What a line now, you go into insert, then you go into shapes, and then you select the line over here. And then the line should be in between section one and section two. So try to get a straight line like this one, and then right click on the line or change the color from here, uh, go to outline, and then we want the line to be black. You can do it from here too. And I want the line to be in between section one and section two, as you can see over here. Additionally, we also want a line after the professional overview, so I can select it, control C to copy it, and control V to paste it, and I want the next line to be under section two. In the professional overview now, you will have to write a short summary, three to four lines of who you are and what are you currently doing, where you have experience, and where you're trying to get to. So what are your passions? And an example I have over here is that I'm saying that I am a self-motivated and results-oriented business management student. So if you're not a student, you can say that you're a data analyst or office admin or anything else you're actually doing right now. Then you will have to say where you have experience. So I clearly say that I have experience in analyzing, developing, and implementing data projects. So straight away from the summary, I show the interviewer that I, I am all about data analytics and data science. And also at the end, I say that I am passionate about analytics, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and business intelligence tools. Right, moving on, the next thing we have is education. So here is where you have to list all your education and certifications you currently have. So I have included a few examples here to help you gain a good idea or understanding of what you should include in this section. So I start with the year I started the certificate or the degree or the master's and then when I finished it. So the first example, it says ongoing because maybe you still haven't finished it. Maybe you're still a student. So I start with the name of the master. So the first one is actually a master's and then the university I'm taking the master's with. Also, if had I finished this master's, then I should include the grade of the master's like I have over here. Then I have two online certificates, which is the two certificates I suggested in my video on how to become a data scientist. 
If you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna have a link in the description. You should go and check it out as these two certificates are actually very, very helpful for data science. And they are also free if you don't wanna pay for them. Then I have a degree down here. So when I started it, when I finished it, the degree I have taken, the university, and then the grade of that degree. The last thing I have is the final school certificate or GCSEs or any final school certificate that you have and then uh, the grade of that final school certificate. The next thing you should add is a link to your GitHub repository. And GitHub repos are crucial nowadays in data science just because it's a way from the interviewer to go and check if you actually have experience in data science, machine learning, visualization, coding, etc., etc. So make sure you have a link to your GitHub repository. And if you don't have one, make sure you create one and you document all your data science projects. Uh, last thing I want to do is to align these two lines because I have just noticed they are not aligned. So I click one, then control, click the other, I go to layout, and then I go to align and align them on the left just to make sure they are correctly aligned. Additionally, I also want to align this paragraph into, I go to home, I go here where are the alignments and I select justify to make them use the whole space. Next thing I want to do is to put this a bit down just to be exactly in the middle and I also want to copy and paste it down here to create room for the next section. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you click that like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for future videos. Right, the next section we have is section number four, examples of projects completed. So here is where you want to choose three or four data science related projects that you have completed either during your university degree, your uh, masters, your online courses or your work experience. So a couple of things to note here is that all of the three projects I have over here, they have a color of blue and they're all bold. Additionally, all of them start by explaining what I have done in these projects and then all of them have an outcome just to show the value and the impact I have brought with these projects. Additionally, please note that all of these projects, they are not using technical language. All of them use very commercial language. And this is because the HR person or the recruiter who is going to be reviewing your CV at first, he or she are not going to be technical people. So you have to use commercial language. And the kind of language I use here is that I say that I have experience in analyzing data in order to uh, give insights for future investments on my first one. The second one is basically machine learning, but I'm just saying predictive analytics in order to help with future investments and outline new opportunities. And the third project is basically unsupervised learning with machine learning again, but I'm just saying that I know how to create clusters and segments based, of, uh, based on groups with similar behaviors. Moving on, the next thing you should add in your CV is your work experience. So here I have work history. I have the date, which is 2022-2021. If you are still working on this job, then you should just say ongoing here. Then in the occupation, I have four different examples. It's where you have to put your occupation, basically, where I have a junior data scientist or office admin or office manager or in marketing, IT, etc., etc. Then you want to put the company you work for. So here I have Visa as an example, and I have also snipped the logo of Visa down here, which creates a nice visual in your CV. Then in the daily log, you should write any data science related skill that you used to do or you are currently doing in your work. So on the first point, I say that I know how to collect, clean, transform, and structure data. On the second point, I flash out skills like insights and communication skills. The way to approach this, I think, is to open the data science related skills, which is a video I have created. I'm going to have the link in the description and try to touch on as much data science skills as you can in your daily log on your CV. So you have to touch. So in the ones I have, in the three bullet points I have over here, I have touched on problem solving, technical skills, data analytics skills, and communication skills. 
the more skills you can add there, the better it's going to look in your CV. The next example I have is some examples of work that are not directly related with data science, but the reason I have this example is just to show you that you can still flush out skills that are very helpful and useful to know as a data scientist. And, and the example I have used is a, a waitress or a bar woman or retail sales or a customer service, etc., etc. And I have used Wakamamas as an example. So the kind of skills I'm flashing here is communication skills and building strong relationships, is skills like knowing how to train and supervise the staff, which is a very useful skill. Also how the stock taking works and how to count things, how to work with numbers, how to reorder stuff that are missing, uh, how to manage your uh, stock taking. And the last uh, thing I have is how to work with money and making sure all the numbers are matching and the numbers are correct. The next example I have is work experience around charity events, volunteering, social services and social events, which is things that the HR department loves to see on CVs. So it's going to be very useful and helpful if you have this on your CV as you are showing that you are contributing to the community. And the kind of, by the way, I'm using save the children as an example, the charity and the kind of skills I'm flashing out is leadership skills, uh, sorry, negoti negotiating skills, organizational skills, and also being able to manage uh, money and make sure the numbers are correct, which are very useful skills to have as a data scientist. Moving on, the next section we have is the skills and competences, which is where you get to flash out your technical and non-technical skills. So just to show you how to create this before we go into the skills, you want to go to insert and then a table and then a three by three table. And then you want to select this, go to home, go down here, expand this, go to borders and shading, and then change the style into the dotted line. And then if you click into each box and then click uh, enter or space twice, and then you have maybe three times, then you have this box over here. And then the way to create these small boxes now is that you want to go into insert and then into the uh, shapes. And then it's going to be this shape down uh, here. And then you create a small one. Then you want to right click on it. You want to fill and then you want to no fill. And then you want to make the outline as black. And then you want to copy this. Control C, Control V, one, two, oops, two, three, uh, ten times because I have it ten times. You want to put them next to each other. Then you want to select all of them. Actually, the first one we want to uh, right click and fill it as gray, just to show you how to fill it as gray as above here. Maybe it's not this gray, maybe it's uh, this gray. Then you want to select all of them by clicking Control down. So one, two, three. Then you want to go into layout and then align at the top first. And then you also want to align them, uh, distribute horizontally. And this is going to create equal space in between each other. And then you, if you have one, two, three, ten next to each other, you can again select all of them together. So with control and then right click and group. So group over here. And then you can create all these uh, squares as I have above here. In terms of the actual skills and competences now, make sure you have data analytics, make sure you have SQL, make sure you have Python or R down here, make sure you have machine learning, communication skills, very useful, and also some sort of BI tool where you're going to be creating your dashboards. And depending how much knowledge you have of these tools, then you can fill in the, the small boxes down here. So this is a nice visual for the interviewer straight away to see your skills and competences and the level you have in each skill or in each competence. And the last point we have is the hobbies and the interests. So make sure you add all your hobbies and interests. So here I have added four examples of what you could add in your hobbies and interests. And the reason you need this is so you can show that you do have a life after work. And also you can actually create a connection with the interviewer in case they have a similar hobby or a similar interest as you, which is always very helpful. Right. And the last thing you have to do now that we have finished with your CV is to go to file and then export and then create a PDF file. 
So, and then save it uh, somewhere on your PC. So I'm just gonna save it in the downloads and then open it. So always when you send your CV out to recruiters or when you are applying to jobs, make sure it's on a CSV format as it kind of looks better and cleaner. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video and you've gained enough value out of this video. If you feel like you did, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.